Welcome to Chateau de Bory, everybody. This week's video is uh, kind of action-packed. We got a lot done. I'm here with my friend Sonora. I don't know if I explained that last week. My friend Sonora Jaw is an author who's just come out with her most recent novel called The Laughter, which got rave reviews in the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. And uh, she's gone on this awesome book tour. It's just done really well. And so she's here enjoying, obviously, the chateau, doing some writing and uh, working on sort of developing her, her next uh, book idea. So it's kind of been really fun to have somebody here to go to wineries with, which we did a bit of this week. And as well this week, uh, I worked on um, what I call now, it was my son's room, but uh, he wanted to call it the Etoile Room, which is um, for, it's the French word for star. Oh, and we've got Chloe here. Okay. I'll leave it at that before she goes cuckoo. Okay, I'll be to Okay, I've been putting off opening this box, but I'm very excited by what potentially lies inside. So I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is until the very last moment. I think it'll become pretty obvious when I... Okay, last screw, I hope. All right. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Voila. Dun, 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 dun. Is it clear yet? Oh man, there's so much unwrapping to do. Wow. Wow, wow. Okay. This is very well packaged, I have to say. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Wow. Oh, look at it. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That's crazy. Oh. Wow. That's amazing. amazing. Gorgeous. Wow. How fun. Gorgeous. All right. There we go. Piece of the kitchen. Here are the handles that I've got kitchen as well so I'm excited about those so I think it's all gonna it's all gonna hang together eventually <laughs> and we've got a few a few knobs I think they're sort of ovally they're ovally shaped but I think they're gonna be really pretty so there you go it's a starting to happen it's exciting okay have you okay I don't know if you all remember but we are having to deal with this cave. So this cave is essentially a, a repository of <laughs> water that comes through a source underneath the ground and is a breeding ground for the zillion mosquitoes around here. So on Tuesday, we have hired a digger that's gonna come and dig a big trench all the way down here. And I'll just turn around here so you can see this is, that's the courtyard, and then the kitchen there, and that's the living, the, the bureau, my office. So right about here, it's going to be in line with that window, and in line with the door of the cave. We're going to put, a, it's going to be a big d a trench dug, no, a pipe put in so that water has somewhere to go. And so we decided, this was Tomas's idea, we decided, oh Chloe, we decided to put in a fountain. And so I was looking for fountains. And surprisingly, um, the, the, at the same place that I got the dining room table, and the husband of the woman who's basically done all of the painting of the shutters, is uh, he, he, I told them that I was looking for a fountain and they found one. So I'm super excited. And yeah, they're coming on Tuesday to dig the trench. And then the, the, um, the fountain will come, will be delivered here uh, next Saturday. So I'm super excited. 
I always give away too much It's like I've got no sense of touch I'm always pouring out my heart No little by little here I'm always push Okay, so I'm in the room that I'm calling A12 um, Meaning star and uh, I've just put a sample of this dark blue. I know this is going to be controversial, but perhaps it will also appease all the people <laughs> who are complaining that I'm painting everything white. So this room is um, not going to be white, I don't think. Although I'm a little scared because it's going to be quite dark. It's quite a dark blue. But it seems to kind of go... This is kind of my son's room, so kind of goes with the, uh, he's, he's really into space, so he chose the name Etoile, I mean, as I said, star. The thing I'm finding though is that this door, this um, wall around this door, is obviously meant to be wallpapered. And so now I'm thinking, oh, maybe I just wallpaper this wall and then paint the rest in the, uh, in the dark blue. And then this is his bed. And then I think with some gold accents, so I've got this, this chandelier, it's a little bit small, but I think with some gold accents, uh, it, can, it, it will look really stunning. It will be very dramatic, but um, yeah. Anyway, so I am just priming everything right now in preparation for <laughs> whatever it is I decide um, with regards to wallpaper. But I think I like the blue, so we'll see what my kids say and um, go from there. I'll be curious to, to hear your comments, <laughs> or maybe I'm scared to hear your comments. A lot of people, it seems to be very divided. Lots of people like the white and like it all bright and airy. And then a lot of people are like, you're painting everything white, you've got a chateau, come on now. So I hear you both. <laughs> okay, a bientôt. Okay, here I go, painting the blue. Yeah, yikes. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got Before no Before you give me a hard time with a small roller, it's because all I have left. All my big rollers are being used for the uh, primer. Little <laughs> here. I'm always pushing things too far. Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar. Okay, I won't bore you with this. I'll turn this off and get a little more finished and then turn it off. Okay, now I'm doing the top bit. Rather jump and risk the fall I see no limits in the sky No little by little here No, no Well, what do you think? <laughs> I'm actually shocked at how easily it's going on And it's one coat and it's really covering up that white so easily Which I, I thought this would be three coats minimum so I'm pretty impressed with the paint, actually. It's a, it's a, I think it's a French brand, Unicalo. And um, yeah, this is actually one of their colors. Uh, I didn't try to mix a ferro and ball color using the Unicalo system. Anyway, is this crazy? <laughs> I guess I'll know when I do the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a moment and do the rest of the ball so I don't bore you again. Okay. Okay, well, shockingly, that tiny little can of paint did an entire wall. <laughs> I just squeaked it out at the end. So, I'm feeling like, looking at it in the camera here, that it actually looks a lot blacker in the camera than it does in real life. In real life, it looks a little tiny bit bluer. 
I wonder if I go over here. There. That will change. I'll do it from this angle. Yeah, maybe a little bluer. Oops, ouch. Walk into the thingy thing. Is that a little better? It's maybe a little bit better. So, now the question is, am I brave enough to do it on all the walls? And should I leave the white up there? Or should I take it right to the ceiling? I felt like leaving that up there kind of gives the impression that there is some sort of fancy molding up there, which of course there is not, but I could fake it. That's how you fake that. <laughs> so, hmm. What do you think? Brave, crazy, not chateau-y enough. I know I'm gonna get that comment. It's not in keeping with the chateau. Okay, but picture this. Imagine the whole room is like that, and then I get these deep velvet curtains to kind of go with it that are maybe lined in gold, gold, gold silk or something. I mean, it would be quite royal, really, very majestic. So, and then with uh, sort of a navy, you know, navy bedding with maybe some pops of yellow as well and some gold fixtures. I've already kind of got that a little bit in the um, chandelier. So there we go. That's food for thought. Let me know in the comments what you think. A bientôt. Hello, everybody. So... Sonora, my friend and I, are here doing our very first wine tour. We are uh, doing the very hard work of testing out various locations in preparation for our retreat in September, oh, October really. So yeah, so we're here at Chateau de Ch Chambert. Chateau de Chambert, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really beautiful. I'll have to get some more shots of it um, from the front because, uh, yeah, it's difficult to see. And then I don't know if you can see here, we've got like a wine tasting room. Oh, it's not letting me, uh, it's not letting me focus in, but that, that building right there, looks like it's a, that's the wine, wine tasting room. So, uh, more later, a bientôt. A bit of a better view of the Chateau de Chambert. Very pretty, but it looks like they're doing some patio work. Oh, fun. And we are going to, to taste three types of wine and three types of soy today. You said the iron gives a, a I heavier or a lighter? Um, higher for me. Higher, higher. Yes. so heavier yes. is what oh, I'm guessing. Yes. Okay, yeah. Things too far. Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar. No boundaries, I get too close. No little by little here. Cause I give my all. I pour out my heart oh, Little by little here I always run at the wall I'd rather jump and risk the fall I see no limits in the sky Little by little here No, no Got stuck on working on myself Thought I was wrong and needed help But I'm just different, something else No little by little here Cause I get my Okay, 
another wine tour, another day, another wine tour. So we're at the Chateau de Mecure, and uh, oh my goodness, this place is pretty stunning. Oh my goodness, this would be amazing for the sketch tour, wouldn't it? Although it would be pretty, well, I guess it will be October, but it might be a little warm for sketching. amazing okay everybody it's a four-star hotel and it's uh it's gonna be quite the shishi little lunch we've got going on today but we figured it was worth the splurge let's just take a look at the view before we go inside wow it's just gorgeous Be the river lock, I think, down there. If you can hear it on video, but it's pretty spectacular. A little dam there. This is amazing. Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you will consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of every time I post a new one. Okay, I hope I get this uploaded. The, the Wi-Fi is like pretty slow. Okay, have a good day.